dead now. Whatever it was. Littlands have been up to their old tricks again. Not all of the nobles made it out alive. Kupka and his men had their fun. How may I help you today, Clive? Best of luck out there, Sid. Is now a good time. <laughs> it's not a bad one. How's Jill doing? Oh, she's been better. Ty is making sure she gets the rest she needs. Good. Any word on Kupka's movements? Vivian's doing what she can to try and track him, but she's feeding on scraps. We've sent owls out to the Curse Breakers and our other friends in the West, asking them to keep their eyes peeled for anything unusual. No leads yet. 
but it's only a matter of time. All right. Let me know when you find something. There he is. All right, Clive. Still busy saving the world. Mid. When did you get back? Mm, just now. What about your studies? Adjourned. Since Hugo Kupka invaded Rosaria. All the canvas in uproar about it. He's gone mad. He's turned rogue. It'll be us next. You try concentrating with all of that. All right, all right. You win. How long will you be staying this time? Dunno. A while, most likely. Any road, while I'm here, I was hoping you could do us a favor. Mid. You can't just expect me to... Please, oblige her. <sighs> while we are busy tracking down Kupka, you should have a little time to spare. Professor! Now there's a face I haven't seen in a while. Shouldn't you have it buried in a dusty old tome? <laughs> I did, till a familiar trill pricked my ears. As ever, your exuberance is a breath of fresh air, which successfully scattered the painstakingly assembled fragments of my thoughts. I'll take that as a compliment. Well, Clive, you heard the professor. So, I'll meet you in the storeroom when you're done. Wait, hold on! Breath of fresh air? Bloody tempest, more like. Oi, Otto, you got my gill. Huh? What are you all about? My fee for bringing Mid across. She said you were paying. That little... The storm. Hours are over, your lordship. I'll be all right, Clive. I just need some rest. Blackthorn may be the manliest of men, but it does lack. Shouldn't you be getting some rest? Sid? Sid's gonna chop off his head this time. Yeah. You took your time. I'm a busy man, Mid. I'll get to the point then. I want to turn the room down there into a workshop like the one I had at Dad's place. Mid, you've only just come back. And? I've been thinking about it for a while. Dad said I had a knack for engineering. Told me everything he knew about it. Then sent me off to Canva to learn everything he didn't. That was his dream for me. That one day I'd put my studies to use for the good of the cause. But I'm helping no one stuck at school. I've studied enough. It's time I put me knack to work. I know that I can help the people here, and I want to do it. Well, well, well. It's sick could see you now. All right? I'll tell Otto you'll be staying. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. Which is why I wrote up a list of jobs for you. For me? Who else? What do you want me to do? First things first, I need equipment and materials to start making my own. There's the design to the stuff I need and the stuff it needs smithing from. The other materials I can work myself. Just need a generous benefactor to lay them on for me. 
Apart from the wood. I'll need a carpenter for that, but I can just borrow yours. Is that everything? For now. I'll let you know if I need out else. <sighs> Where to start? Materials and tools. That means Karen and Blackthorn. I could do with the rinse. All right, bring them out. But next time, you can scrub your own stains. Good. Should be enough to keep us going. I was wondering where you got to. Mid's back from Canva. Just now. She's planning to set up a workshop in the store. Here's the list. Think you can find everything on there? This lot? <laughs> Would be much of a trader if I couldn't. Excellent. As for pay... It's paid. Hundred times over by what that... If it weren't for her filters, we'd have naught to drink but blight water. And Indeed it would. I'll send the stuff on to Med when it comes in. Thank you, Karen. Is it business? 
or pleasure. <laughs> Quite the opposite. Like father, like daughter. Coin purse weighing you down. Again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered I either way. Wait to see what Mid's going to build us this time. Blackthorn, you busy? What's it look like? I have a commission. She requires certain. Do you think you can make them? Bloody hell. What's she planning to build with this stuff? An airship? Hmm. I'll see what I can do. Tell her I'll bring them over when I'm done. My thanks. And mids, no doubt. That just leaves the carpenter. Let's see if Bardolph's available. Clive. Summer storm, that one. Sanctifornian, dear. Not bad, if I do say so myself. Mr. Seagull, or should I call you Mr. Lake Gull? Oh, what a lovely fragrance. Anyone would think Nigel was growing himself. Good oiling is good. Should be enough to. How do, Master Sid? Bardolf. Mid's looking to build up. So naturally, I thought. Well, I'd love to help the young miss, but I'm afraid I got my hands full. Just keep. I'd gladly spare Mid all. <sighs> it don't have to be me, though, does it? What about, you know, the one over at Martha's rest? That's right. I'll ask Martha if she can spare him. <laughs> Least I could do. Burgers, as good a carpenter as you'll find, by all accounts. <laughs> I reckon my... The old master would have preferred his work to mine. But...
Empire have dragoons? Wyverns? We don't get visitors from the garrison anymore. Not that we'd welcome them. I take men to my chamber, not monsters. What brings you? Our uh, home finds itself in need of an extra carpenter. I don't mind if he don't. Thank you, Martha. He went up to Cressida on business. Far as I know, he's. I'll look from there then. If it ain't the lad who saved my... You do, Bernard. Oh. Building a workshop, you say? <laughs> well, that... And... Uh, if Martha didn't mind me being gone a while... <laughs> nice this... I, uh... I couldn't ask... Of course. Well, that there is Cressida, where I grew up. But I, I came up here hoping to visit. 
I even patched up the bridge to get across. Only to find the pl- But you're a dab hand when it comes to dealing with beasts and- It's the least I can do. Well, thank you kindly. Should do it. <laughs> you made short work of that lot. Thank you, son. Now my folks can rest in peace once more. How long is it since the village was abandoned? Oh, people started packing there. Must be nigh on a decade since the last. Oh, it may as well have been a century, looking at the place. I'm sorry. Ah, don't be. Can't live in the past, no matter how nice it might have been. Soon as I'm done saying a prayer for those that raised me, it's onto your hideaway. I'll meet you there. That should take care of Mid's little list. some rest. All right, Clive? You I am. 
I've placed your various orders and a cup. That's brilliant. Thanks, Clive. Is there anything else you need? Nope. Blackthorn and Lady Karen have already sent over everything I asked for, and I've got home. So as soon as Bernard gets here, we can get to work. <laughs> I can't wait. That's my good deed for the day done. Let's see how Jill's faring. Did Bernard say how long he was going to be? I mean, it's fine, but I hope he comes soon. everyone whispering about. Do you have a moment, Sid? A team of curse breakers has gone missing near North... Which team? Coles. They were sent to liberate a carriage of bearers before they could be smuggled. They were moving in for their assault when the carriage was attacked. A curse breaker managed to release a stolas amid the confusion, but... They should be back by now, but I've heard nothing from... A I can't help but worry that... They know the work is dangerous. But what if I've got them all killed? Before they go out, I always remind them why we're doing this, what they escaped, and... But I never really thought how my words might affect them. What... I'll go and find them. We'll both rest easier knowing they're safe. Thank you, Sid. And I'm sorry to trouble you with this. The plan was to intercept the slaver somewhere in the Dragon's Airy. I can't tell you much more than that, I'm afraid. That should be enough to go on. If they were there, Torgal will track them down. We're lucky that Stolas escaped the Dragon's area unscathed. Without it. Clive. Talia. How's Jill? Recovering, but she still needs her rest. Of course. Take good care of her, won't you? I'll do my best. Oh, Gav was looking for you. He said he had something to show you in the shelves. The shelves? Oh, that's right. He went to ask Hippocrates about Togo. He must have found something. You have the look of a man with the twins upon his shoulders, or Talia has tasked me with removing a curse breaker's brand. I don't think I can... I'm afraid of what happens if I fail. Is it really? You don't need me to answer that. You know, I hope as much as you that one day bearers can walk among others as equals. But until then... And we must lift that burden. In order to go undetected. The operation may be dangerous. But it's also a... I oh, know. Griping about my lot helps no one, I suppose. I know you will. Unfortunately, the first thing that needs something I can't do with the infirmary's ammonia supply so low. Just tell me what you need. You, you'll go. No one knows her blood like Taya, and she swears by ammonia for easing pain. Unfortunately for you, I do. Along the river near the village of Amber, over in Rosaria. Just search for the bright blue blossoms. Ugh. 
If we could get ammonia to grow here in the hideaway, we wouldn't have to risk our lives to gather it. I overheard your little chat with Rodrigue. It's good of you to help. I'm feeling a lot better, thanks to Taya's remedies. But she insists I rest. Everyone whispering about the little ones have been up to their old tricks again. 